Fantastic. We're at the AHR Expo in Las Vegas, the biggest expo of HVAC in the country. And we've talked about vacuum pumps exclusively, and I've never got to play with this pump. This is the pump I want to play with the most. And here it is at the expo, and Ruben is going to help us talk about this pump. So Ruben, what's some of the features about this pump? So this is the Field Piece VPX7 vacuum pump. We currently make three vacuum pumps, a 6 CFM, an 8 CFM, and this 10 CFM. So what differentiates this product? The entire vacuum pump line has the run quick oil change system. If a contractor is pulling a vacuum, let's say 45 minutes into a vacuum, and oil is dirty, you can change the oil while the machine is running. So you can so, see your oil right here. Yes. This is the actual, all the way down to the bottom. So if there's moisture in it, you can see the moisture sitting there at the bottom where you can't know the pumps. It's got a nice big side glass. If you have clean oil, it's gonna be crystal clear. As it gains, as it uh, captures saturation, moisture, you're gonna see the oil turning dirty. So once the oil is dirty, you can open this knob. Dirty oil falls into the reservoir container. Okay. We have a funnel that's built into the top. You get the brand new oil and pour the new oil in. You never turn the machine off. You do this while the machine's running. So this oil uh, reservoir can be empty for almost two minutes before your vacuum will start to leak. And wow. you can do the oil change in about 20 seconds. So the technicians don't have to stop their vacuum to change their oil. It's very fast, very clean, very easy. It really incentivizes them to change their oil and therefore have a faster, more efficient vacuum. Besides the run quick oil change, this 10 CFM comes with an aluminum pump. It's the only machine with an aluminum pump. What's the benefit of an aluminum pump? It's lighter. Okay. So you're saving a, a few pounds. Can I pick it up? You sure can. This is a 24 pound oh, vacuum sounds... pump. It's not only the lightest 10 CFM, it's lighter than most 6 CFM. So. At the end of the day, it's smallest, fast, lightest vacuum pump on the also, market. Also, you have multiple connections here. So you got two three eighths, you got a half inch, and your uh, quarter inch. Yeah, it's a cleaner setup. Uh, a lot of guys use a T, which you know, if you're using a lot of hoses, it gets kind of clunky. It's hard to connect, disconnect. So this is a much cleaner interface for connecting four hoses if you want to pull from four different points of a system. Very cool. Now let's talk about the motor. What kind of motor is in this? It's a dual stage. The 10 CFM uses a three quarter horsepower DC motor. So what's the advantages of this DC motor? So DC motors are one, they're lighter, so you're also saving some weight on the on the motor. They're not affected by voltage drop. So if you're using a long extension cord, which pretty much everybody does, you could be getting as low as 100 volts, which means your machine isn't working at full capacity. With the DC motor, this guy can receive as low as 95 VAC and still operate at full full capacity. Very cool. Now on the side here, we notice a few other little things. You have a removable cord on the back. What's your benefit? Yeah, so, so for storage, you want to put this away, you can just unplug the EEC cable. When you plug it back on, it does have a little safety to prevent it from becoming unplugged while you're doing a job. So you don't want, in case somebody accidentally trips over the cord, this will eliminate any potential risk for disconnection. And your lever here on the back side. That is a gas ballast valve. When technicians are beginning to pull a vacuum, there's a lot of moisture in the system. It's a good idea to activate the gas ballast so that it does it off into the exhaust, to the atmosphere. It's really cool, we have a light inside there, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake this a little bit so you can see that oil level move around. So oil level's all, right, all the way to the bottom. You can see if there's any contamination in there whatsoever. So how long have you been with Field Peace, Ruben? I've actually been with Field Peace for 20 years. Wow. Yeah, my, my, my entire career. So when I started, Field Peace was a, a much smaller operation. I've seen it go from a company that was making, you know, a handful of HVAC tools to being basically the industry leader in HVAC process. Awesome. How did you get in the working for Field Peace? How did you get in HVAC? Um, well, honestly, I, I got a job with Field Peace because I had friends that worked at Field Peace, and I started working, you know, in the in the warehouse logistics, and then moved my way up to tech support, warranty, and I've been doing sales for a better part, a little over a decade at this point in time. That's awesome. Selling the product, so it's really fun. You know, we're we're one of the big innovators. We have new products every year, keeping things fresh, adding value for the technicians, making their jobs easier, faster, better. If somebody had questions specific to uh, Field Peace, can we send them to you? Absolutely. You can contact my email, rduarte at fieldpeace.com. My name is Ruben Duarte. I put a link in. The best place to find, find info would be our website. All of our contact info is on there. Okay. Now, one last thing I just want to clarify. Ruben, have we ever met before? I have never met Ty before today. Oh, you're hurt, breaking my heart here. But the big thing is, is there any communication, is there any money transferring here, is there any financial connection? No, not at all. Piece? This is just simply curiosity about this machine, went straight to the manufacturer, got their say in it, and it's just showing you guys what's available. This is just their vacuum pump, there's tons of other products, I'm not promoting any specific manufacturer, just find this really interesting. And Ruben, I really appreciate your time. Hey, thank you, Ty. Thanks.
Do you have any advice for any young people coming in the field? It's a great, it's a great industry and it's a great career. There's a lack of technicians. There's a demand, a high demand for them. So you have a lot of power as a technician. The barriers to entry are very low. The high side is very high. There are some technicians well over six figures doing HVAC. They didn't go to university. They didn't take out any loans. It's a very fun job. A lot of diversity. It's a good industry to, to be in. A lot of people think about just doing AC work for houses, but they don't think about the refrigeration side of it and all the other aspects that need vacuum systems and all this equipment. But also the fact that you can work for manufacturers, you can work for the distributors. There's a whole other side to HVAC than just us using this equipment. The other side of it is going to be very, very important as well. Ruben, I really appreciate your time. Thanks Thank again, you Ty. So much. Thank you, guys.